I'm Sonia Nicholas, founder of the Green Apple Club and today I'm going to show you how to make another quick and easy dinner for the children, perfect for weeknights um, when everyone's a bit tired and you haven't got a lot of time. Um, today we're going to make a vegetable egg frittata. Um, so I'll get started on making it and then I'll explain a little bit more about what we're using. So just a little bit of um, olive oil here. I've chopped up half a red pepper into small dice which most children I think can just about cope with. Um, so we're going to just start softening those up. You could add a little bit of garlic in here as well if your children are okay with garlic. Mine are a little bit funny sometimes about it so I'm going to leave it out and I'm going to keep it quite bland. Plain, not bland, plain. Um, okay so we're going to start off with those peppers um, and then we're going to add some different vegetables. So obviously you could use leftover veg if you've got anything left over from Sunday roast anything left over like that would be really good to use but when you're in a pinch there is nothing wrong with using a few tinned veg so these are new potatoes in water so uh, again haricot beans also in water um, I'm going to use frozen peas because my children prefer them but you could use um, tinned peas again all for convenience and if they're just tinned in plain water then that's fine um, and you shouldn't feel bad about using tinned veg it's much better to use some tin veg um, and cook from scratch than to, you know, be using freezer food every night of the week. Um, so it's still beneficial for the children. So I'm going to just chop up these new potatoes into some small dice. Most children, I think, are all right with potatoes. And potatoes actually, are, although people give them a bit of a hard time, I think, white potatoes, but actually they're still full of vitamins and minerals. Um, and of course, they're complex carbs, starchy carbs, so they help to fill children up and give them lots of energy. So, potatoes are good, I think, as far as children are concerned. Right, so there's a couple of potatoes gone in there. Depending on how hungry your children are likely to be, you can always put a few more in. Potatoes are really versatile and really quite forgiving so you can just chuck any old stuff in I think. Okay so I'm just going to let those soften down a little bit and we're going to put some eggs in. I'm going to use probably well, three or four eggs I think. So eggs also over the years have had a bit of a hard time because the yolks contain cholesterol and it was thought at one point that eating eggs Eating eggs would also raise the levels of bad cholesterol in the blood, but actually scientific studies have shown that that's not the case um, and that you can eat eggs without fear of the cholesterol. And actually, although probably not many people really know it, eggs are packed full of minerals and vitamins, so iron, vitamin A, vitamin B12, iodine, choline, loads of um, beneficial minerals and vitamins uh, that benefit the body. In fact, all of the minerals and vitamins that the body needs can be found in eggs. Um, so we're just going to carry on softening a little bit. And of course, eggs provide a really good, actually, I'm put some haricot beans in as well here. A really good source of um, protein, easily digestible protein. Now I'm using haricot beans here, but I don't know whether that might be a bit of a stretch for your children, but um, you can always just leave them out. But these are beans that are used in baked beans, so thought perhaps you know the children you can tell them you put baked beans in, even if you haven't, and they might be familiar enough with them to be able to get away with it. And those beans provide another extra source of fibre and uh, complex carb and protein. So now what we want to do is we want to cook this from the bottom up. So to start with, we'll give it a good stir just while the egg starts to cook through. And then what you want to do is allow it to cook and set on the bottom while the top can stay slightly runny. Then we're going to put it under the grill. 
So it's just starting to set on the bottom here. Hopefully the children will let you get away with spending this much time at the hob. Right, so it's starting to settle there on the bottom. So what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to just leave it alone. It's quite tempting to keep on messing with it, but I'm going to stop because otherwise we'll end up with scrambled eggs. So what you could do here, I'm not going to add cheese to mine because um, my daughter's dairy intolerant um, and so is my husband. But you could, while it's setting from the bottom up, you could add a nice sprinkling of um, undyed cheddar cheese as an additional source of um, of calcium and, and fat and don't forget that children do need fats in their diets. Um, eggs are, I think it's about 30% saturated fat but actually the rest of the egg is monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats which are really good for you um, and are good for heart health and also eggs contain those omega-3 fatty acids which everybody, adults and children, we all need to be getting more omega-3 fatty acids. We get a lot of omega-6 fatty acids um, from like cheap vegetable oils and processed cakes and all sorts of other sources. But actually we, get, we don't get enough omega-3 fatty acids and you find those in eggs and avocados and olive oil and those sorts of foods. So they're really good for us and they help to rebalance that omega ratio for better health. So what we're going to do now, see, Potato has started to cook on the bottom now when it's settling. Obviously you can see that it's really runny still on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash it under the grill um, and let it cook from the top down. Okay, I'm going to pop that under the grill. Obviously make sure that you have a pan that can go under the grill and not melt. Otherwise that would be a bit of a disaster. And then what I'm going to do while that's just settling on the top is we're going to just put a few tomatoes out. So obviously tomatoes you have to cut these in half so they're not a choking risk for children in a similar way to grapes. I think people often forget about cherry tomatoes that they're also you know that exactly the right size to get stuck in someone's throat. So we're going to just add a few of these to our plate. My children love these tomatoes and now that spring is here um, and the weather will start hopefully to get a little bit warmer and get away with a few more sort of salad -y type of meals and you see they're nice and quick. So I'm just going to put a few cherry tomatoes. You can place yours that more, you know, in a pretty way on the plate. We can just have one like I do because frankly I haven't got the time. Um, okay, so you can see that our frittata is starting to firm up. Okay, so what this meal is going to provide um, is complex starchy carbs for energy from the potatoes and the veg that we've got in there. Um, and the eggs are providing a really good source of high quality, easily digestible protein um, and omega-3 fatty acids in the yolk. Um, so I think the current guidelines are something like you shouldn't eat more than four eggs in a week. So I think where children are concerned, you could probably stick with that um, and not to give them eggs, you know, every day. But as a quick and easy meal, eggs are a lifesaver. Okay, so I've given the frittata a few minutes in, uh, under the grill. Probably took about five or six minutes to set properly. Um, and then I've let it sit just for another minute or so. You could probably let it sit for a little bit more. Okay, um, and then if you just loosen it around the pan with your spatula, and you should be able tip it out like so. Okay, so what we're going to do is serve a slice of frittata My children would eat at least two slices of this. With your vegetables. And that's it. Okay, so two slices, I think, for a young child, um, but you can multiply up the recipe to make more. Um, and there it is, another made-from-scratch, healthy, nutritious meal that will contribute to the good health of your children. I hope you find it useful.